Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I am Yash and today I am going to show you how to create a drop down menu. This is what I created in my test project. So I click a button and I get a bunch of options. So we will be using stack views to get this feature. So let's get started. I have already uh, created a new project uh, named drop down menu and you will get this project on my website and the link will be in the description so anyways let's get going so I have done uh, nothing in this project so let's hop over to main.storyboard and drag a bunch of buttons so first we'll add one button then click it and press command D to duplicate and add one more select both of them command D drag them select them command D drag them uh, this will be select food so I'll just do this so burger sandwich so this happens a lot so uh, I forgot let's say hot dog this can be biryani samosa Mm, ice cream and let's say whatever like waffle and select all of them and just hit this button which has some bunch of rectangles and a down arrow and this will bring all of them together and now what we will do is we will give this stack view a constraint so this will be like 10 from top uh, 40 from left and 40 from right and don't give it a height so just say add four constraint uh, add three constraints so now what we will do is it looks quite good but not that good so select all these buttons and we will give them constraints so it will be zero from left and zero from right and a fixed height of I like 45 so let's do 45 and now you get this uh, now we will change their text size and everything so font will be custom even year next and size will be 20 and now we need text color text color will be white and background color will be other and let's select purple and what we will do is select only the first button and we'll change this to some other color so it looks better so a uh, dark gray or something and we also will make text for the first button bold so demi bold so it looks much good much wow and so yeah uh, let's start getting connections so font size is good get rid of this thing we don't need it and here first I'll drag and drop select food button and here I will say food selection per rest and this will be of type action and type UI button so hit connect and now we need action for each of this button as well uh, so we will just basically print, print it out so anyways food pressed and this will be of type action and type UI button so whenever you hover over this icon you will see this blue thing so just click this and uh, connect with all other food items so that we can use them samosas ice cream and waffle now just click here and check all of them are uh, in there now we will need outlets as well so for select food it will be uh, select food btn and this will be a normal outlet but for food selections we will be using collection so uh, it will give us an array of UI buttons so here just select outlet collection and this will be food items and hit connect and we will do the same thing as the action just click and drag click and drag click and drag click and drag and we are done so let's just confirm everything and everything looks fine so we are done with the storyboard let's hop out to view controller and start coding the best part 
So get rid of this text and let's make everything round. So select food button dot layer, not this dot layer dot corner radius is equal to select food button dot frame dot height divide by 2.0 so that it, it's completely round. So now we will make each of the food item button round. So we will say food items. Uh, if you see it's a collection so it's an array of UI buttons so just hit enter dot for each hit and enter and this will be food btn and tab and here we will say food btn dot layer dot corner radius is equal to food btn dot frame dot height by 2.0 and let's run the application and see how it looks so 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 and our application is running and it looks bad because we don't have spacing between the stacks uh, between the buttons so let's do that let's fix fix that first so hop over to main dot storyboard and make sure you select your stack view don't select any button you won't get this option and under where it says spacing just click up arrow and it should say one and you sh should see spacing so let's run it once again and see how it looks should look fine this time so it looks good now so first we will just hide the buttons when the view loads so here we will say food button dot is hidden and we will just say true and so now we need to show items when food selection is pressed and hide it when everything is shown so basically i will say so under food selection pressed we will say again we will reference to this food items array of ui buttons dot for each okay for each and this will be food btn and we will say food btn dot is hidden is equal to just flip the truth value so dot is hidden and let's run and see how it looks so our application is running and select so it looks good and it's working so let's give it some animation so that it looks much better and here we will say ui view dot animate with duration and duration will be 0 0.4 yeah you can play around with that and just paste the code here this just copy this code and paste it here and paste here and now we will say self dot view dot layouts if needed so uh, if you just alter click this you can read this part and you will understand what actually this method does so anyways no need to explain and let's run the application and we should be done with the drop down thing and so if you click you get cool animation if you click they go back so now the bigger question is like how to get the data from these things so let's do that and we will be done so just stop it and when we have food pressed action let's do the same uh, it's really simple so let's just print the label out so if let you know, label no we can say btn btn label label is equal to sender dot text title label dot text open brackets and here we'll just print it out so print btn label and we are good so i'll just decrease this so that we can see side by side and here our application is running select food burger we get burger sandwich hot dog biryani samosa ice cream waffles so that's how you create a drop down menu uh, if you like my video thumbs up if you have any questions post them in comments don't forget to subscribe for future videos and until next time